Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, it looks like my friend Joy is here. I know you've been on the road a lot. And as you can tell by my surroundings, I am on the road myself. In fact, I am in, and yes, I'm going to say it. I'm going to make the declaration. I am in the great state of Texas. Welcome. Let me get it on here. Welcome. <laughs> Born and raised, it will always have a special place in my heart. In fact, I literally just crossed uh, the state line and I am in the, um, the what was it called a rest stop? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the welcome center. That's what it's called. It's the welcome center. And I was so excited to be with y'all today. I knew I would be traveling and I thought, what the heck? I'm going for it because I have gotten rid of my butt. And if you were with me last week, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So hello. Hey, Tammy, I see you're here. Great to see you. And for those of you who don't know me, I am Daphne Smith. And I come to you on a regular basis with some encouragement, some hope, maybe some tips on how to live a well done life. Uh, I get to also share female wave makers with you from time to time. And I've got one scheduled for later this month. I'm excited to introduce you to for debt for today. Something popped into my mind, and it was this. It was, all work and no play makes Jack or Jill a dull person. Okay, that's the DSV. Growing up, you probably heard, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And I never, honestly, like, really ever understood what that meant. As I am maturing, right, that's code word for getting older, uh, hopefully wiser. I've figured out what the heck that means. And I will tell you that I think, first of all, it gets its origins from back in the school days when we were students. I don't know if any of y'all ever did this or not, but like you came home from school, which when you're in school, school is work. You come home from school and you want to go outside and you want to play. But if your parents were like my parents, you had to finish your homework first. Before you could play, you had to work. So if anybody remembers that, type in the comments for me, remember, just so I know that I wasn't the only one suffering, okay? When we have that instilled in us at such a young age, and then we add the pressures of social media and the privilege of parking spaces and corner offices. No wonder people are obsessed with work today. In fact, just the other day, I read an article on LinkedIn, and it talked about how some people are making work a religion, which is a little scary, okay? What I want to do, and in the words of my friend Dexter Godfrey, I want to submit to you for consideration that a well-rounded approach to things in life will actually allow us to experience more success. Let me explain. If you envisioned your life as a circle with sections, and maybe you would appreciate the image of a pie, okay? <laughs> Be it pizza or fruit, all right? If it was divided into sections, and one section was completely colored in, the center is you, and the outer edge is 100%. If only one section of that were maxed out, can you see how it would be lopsided? Or if you think about like a tire on your car, like since I'm sitting in my car, if one wheel was inflated more than the others, my car would be out of alignment, just like our lives can be out of alignment. And I get it. I myself have hopped on here and delivered messages about being focused. I really think it comes down to prioritizing and seeking harmony. I rarely, if ever, use the word balance because I don't really believe in balance. Uh, if you'll envision the scales of justice, right? There is that equal you know, each, each scale, whoops, <laughs> just slipped from a laptop. Oh, well, um, 
you know, you see the gal, she's blindfolded, she's holding the scale, and you've got those two little dishes. Did you realize that something as minute as a feather could throw that out of kilter? It takes a tremendous amount of tension and stress to live or have balance. It means things are equal and even. And I don't know about your world, but in my world, rare if ever is that occasion. I prefer to think in the terms of harmony. Yes, Tammy, exactly. Prioritizing and harmony. So when I think of harmony, I think of the shoreline, the sand and the ocean where they meet and how it's constant movement. And in such, it creates a perfect state. Think about that. When we are in flow, that is when we can experience change, experience success. While yes, for a season, we may need to have laser focus. Like my friend Tammy, who's on here right now, fellow author. Trust me, when you're writing a book, you have got to be focused. And when that book is finished, that season is over and a new season begins. And so we make adaptations, just like any goal, be it a weight loss goal or an education goal or a financial goal. These are seasons in life. And I'm here to tell you, as we grow through those seasons, if we will seek harmony to the best of our ability, we are going to have more peace. We are going to enjoy those around us more. Those who are around us are going to appreciate us more. And we're going to be able to be well-rounded. I don't know about you, but I don't like being around dull people. Somebody who is so focused on one thing that is all they ever talk about or promote Life is to be experienced, and there are vast opportunities for us to enjoy all types of different occasions and encounters. And if we become dull, we're not going to be sharp enough. Get that? Don't. Okay. We're not going to be sharp enough to be able to realize when the moment is near or here. So as I sign off today, because y'all like legit, I am on my way to the airport to meet an airplane to pick up a girlfriend. And if you follow me online at all, you're going to see all kinds of cool things this weekend. Well, they'll be fun. I don't know if they're going to be cool, but there's going to be a lot of fun going on this weekend. I just simply want to remind you that in order to be disciplined and determined, you don't have to be dull. Choose to seek harmony. And when you do, you will live a well done life daily. I'm going to say bye for now so I can get back on the road and hit the airport. Take care and be well.